Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 115 of my Direwolf 21.18 Let's Play. Look at that sunrise <clears throat> rising on our fission reactor. Yeah, it's so cool. Um, I was just enjoying the view of all the things that I've built. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, can't go that way. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, we got our reactor over there, our old cottage that I haven't been in. Actually, I went into it today. Um, yep. And there's our um, little house with our water wheel over there and I can't go any further until I show you <laughs> what it is that I built this time. <laughs> uh, I bet you want to know but it is here let me turn a little bit oh okay <laughs> missed it um let's uh oh boy this is a big one too um I have been working really hard on it and if it's not, you know, as cool as my other things, I'm sorry. I really, really tried. Here it is. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. Monstrosity is absolutely colossal. Well, it's colossal for me. Maybe not for everybody, but for me, it sure is. Um. I'm not a hundred percent finished with it, but it is mostly uh, finished, except for all the the bits and bobs that I'm gonna add to it. Uh, check it out. This is cool. I was <clears throat> I was really worried about hey, what is this uh, about um, starting a project this big, uh, and it's really not all that big but it is <laughs> uh having the dire wolf building gadget and exchanging gadget sure did help a bunch um so oh check it out i even built okay this is like the main entrance this is where the gladiators come in do 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 and they get to fight Okay, and then over here at the other entrances, uh, you can um, come up these stairs and go into the stands, the bleachers, to watch <laughs> all the fightings. Um, I did clear out an area under here, underneath, put all all of my doodads that I want um is this is it gonna be just any old Coliseum <laughs> this is gonna be a Coliseum that is well it's it's gonna be rigged <laughs> it's gonna be rigged in favor of me <laughs> it's it's going to um you know help me to win fight and win some challenging battles uh that you know i may not have the combat abilities to endure <laughs> so yeah and check this out i even have signs look at that the jake mo coliseum <laughs> yeah, I just want to say thanks, Jake, for all your comments and for taking the time to watch my videos. I appreciate you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is going to be super cool. One of the, the first things I want to do with this, I've never, ever done before. I mean, I've seen um, people use this. Uh, but I haven't actually used it myself. Uh, it's the uh, shield. Let's see. 
Is it called a shielding? Shielded redstone? No. Blue shield R of tools builder. Is that what it is? R of tools builder? A shield projector. Yeah. Uh, this machine forms a shield out of adjacent template blocks. It can filter based on type of mob and do various things. Damage solid. Use the smart wrench to add sections to the shield. Reduce power consumption and increased damage. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, so RF tools, huh? Uh, Tools. Inscriber, a demo workbench. Um, shield. Hmm. Okay. I'm definitely going to look into this and uh, definitely see about getting that set up because I want to, when I battle in here, I want to make sure that the rest of my world is safe uh, from whatever it is I'm unleashing in here. <laughs> so uh, I, in case things go horribly wrong, I want to contain whatever it is inside of here and to protect the audience <laughs> that, that isn't gonna be there but anyway um maybe i'll put some villagers up here that can watch <laughs> so that I can protect them from from danger um yeah so i did i did play with the drone a little bit you can see i got a little drone here and he's been programmed um let's go I have been also working on my base. Uh, oh, <laughs> check it out. This is what the uh, the green concrete looks like. I'm really happy with it. Um, I'm going to be <laughs> nudging uh, my reactors a little bit. Look at this. Um, they're all stopped. Nope. You stopped, buddy. Oh, there. Look at that. It must be a chunk loading thing. Ah! What? what are you doing? Yep. I don't know how these other ones are getting their juice. Uh, but, let me see. I, I, I'm going to pause the video and I'll log out, log back in. Air back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that fixed it. Uh, logging out, logging back in. Good to go. Uh, I was also out of uranium, so I filled this up. Once I get this uh, bottom part laid out the way I want, I will have the ability to hook these guys up to uh, the ME system. So I won't have to worry about that anymore, which will be super duper cool and fantastic. And this is the way I want to lay it out. Check this out. It's going to be awesome. Need to get some lights over here. Yeah. So I got these branching off over there. And then I have the two going up. Oh, yeah, snap. Um, I don't really have these leading off anywhere. I wanted to throw these in. I can't really use them for anything because, well, I could if I was super duper sneaky. Uh, you could put subsystems on this, and since I have a peer-to-peer -peer tunnel nearby, I could use like the old um, ME interface and storage <laughs> storage bus to interconnect them sort of uh just to let them see each other uh, otherwise you know it won't connect so this is how i'm gonna get uh my channels to these various uh, 
appears. Uh, <laughs> and then I have this one kind of laid out over here, how I want to run my main floor. This part isn't going to be there. I just can't, I can't tear this down yet until I, I have a way to hook it back up real quick. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Uh, yeah, like it's, it's not really hooked up yet, uh, but that's how I want to do the stuff and thing. So I can hook things up to this to do certain like automations and then hook it up to the main system with a storage bus and uh, any interface. I don't know if that will work. I will definitely try it out and see if I can get it to work. Uh, <laughs> I'm having problems um, getting all the, the wool. Like, check it out. Uh, this is all the wool I have left. 1.4k it might be enough to get some of it done uh, but what i really want is to get this line up 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 to the iron level so if i could get that up <laughs> that up to here uh that would be super cool and awesome so um since I'm really going to need a lot more than like four, maybe. I might do the colors uh, on, on these guys next to it and then run three cables up on each side. And that should be plenty, actually. Let's see. Well, we could get like uh, one for each side. I just don't know that that would be enough. Maybe I'll just do two instead of doing the one on the corner like that. I'll do uh, over here so I could have uh, two for each side. Oh yeah, there we go. So like, put them up there like that. And then run them from here to wherever. Actually with, with other cables, you know, and I'll put it over wherever. That's the plan. Um, I, <laughs> and check it out. This is, uh, this is from the main level. You can see I have more going up. Like I was trying this out and, and yeah, I can hook stuff onto here, but you can't see it on the network. Uh, so, um, I, if I use this, I will have to figure out a way to get it, uh, to see it on the main network. So that's going to be super duper challenge. And here's the other one. Uh, I'm st I've started to run out of cable there. I couldn't finish it, uh, but I wanted to work on the drone. So I got some sheep up here. Um, I programmed the drone over here. I was doing it down there at the, the pneumatic craft area all the way down there. And I was having to fly all the way up to check it out. Uh, so I just moved this since it doesn't take power or pressure or anything. And I made a cool little program. It's just import from inventory telling him to pick up his shears. And then to go right click all of the sheep in the area. Uh, and then to... Uh, I had to add this after I didn't know that I needed to do this, but... I did this program and it wouldn't work until I told him to go put his shears up because I guess he only has one inventory slot. So he couldn't pick up any of the wool until he put his shears away. And then after he picks up the wool, he can put it in the chest. <laughs> so nice. it's super cool. Uh, let's give it a go. 
Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> I gotta back up, otherwise I'm gonna suck up all the the wool. So he's super cool. Um, the only thing I have to do now is, uh, what I might do is I might make this area a little bit bigger and get some more sheep up here. Maybe another four or eight sheep, uh, just so I can bump this up. Um, yeah, so, because I'm going to need lots and lots of wool, and this is good, but it's just a start, uh, so... Yes, and then um, once I get all of the uh, the ME2 up here, I can start laying in the foundations for my uh, mob systems and my animal farms, and uh, I even want to put uh, regular farms up here. So yeah, it'll be super cool and awesome. <laughs> and I want to. Uh, yeah, having the drones flying around is super cool. Uh, I like that. Ah, <laughs> yes. So he's just going along. Um, didn't we have 57? You only got three wool in there? Did he... Uh... Oh, hey, thank you. Oh, maybe he... Maybe he only gets one. Maybe he only gets one every time. That would be um, bad. So I guess he's trying to shear them. But since there's only four. So what I want to do is maybe adjust him to, to a bigger area. Mm-hmm. So let's do this. Get some more dirt. And we'll increase this area to here because that's the chunk border. Yes. There. Oh, man. I have the biggest urge to sneeze. Uh, uh. Um. Oops, that, that may have been too much. It's fine. I'll use it eventually. Um, so let's, I guess, go ahead and pick this guy up. Ooh, where are you at? Yeah. So I still have to get some more, I have to get a charging station up here for him. I could probably do something, um, This is probably going to break him anyway. Mm -hmm. Boop. Right. So I need to get my little uh, GPS tools. I had to make a regular GPS tool. Actually, I had to make three regular GPS tools and then use two of them to make a GPS area tool. Uh, so that is... Let me put this stuff away. There we go. And we need this stuff, right? There we go. And I need to click the GPS tool on there. I I don't know what that means if, uh, 
if I pick either one, I don't know, maybe I should use like an iron chest or something. Um, can I, do I have any of the recipes here? Oh, I do have a, have a gold chest. That, that'll work. Let's just use a gold chest. <clears throat> And that should be plenty good enough. Yes, tool. And then we're going to increase the area to Oh, I forgot. You do right click and then left click. It always uh so there's our area. Now we can modify this program and it shouldn't be too hard. We just uh, go and tell him this is where the chest is. Of course, it's the same spot, so probably don't need to do anything. Let's make sure. Uh, but the area has changed go and that should do it he should oh and you can rename the drone um i don't know what to name him um Didn't think of a name for him. Well, I'll figure it out. Uh, let's get him to accept his new programming. Um, oh, wait. Let's go get some more sheet first. Um, do, do, do. Shrinking device. Uh, actually, I might want to read these because I only have a few sheep left out there. So let's get some wheat. Wheat. What? I don't have any wheat in my main system. See how, like, slacking I am? Here you go, buddies. Have a good time. Nice. Um, I think you can... Can you accelerate them? No? I want to accelerate you. Um, oh dude, I bet I could do this. Will you grow? It says he becomes adult in zero seconds. Huh. I can't see them. Oh, that's so horrible. Okay, let me uh, bust this down. There we go. Now I wonder, um, it says he becomes a, an adult in zero seconds. Uh, and so does that one. So why aren't you becoming an adult? Can breed in zero seconds. Oh. You guys are ready, huh? Oh, it's it says they can breed, but uh, it's a lie. The lie. It's just a flat out lie. Okay, so I guess I will go get some um get some bottles. So if I go get four more sheeps 
can't get out that way. Um, do, 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 do. I get four more sheeps. Um, and I breed them, then I'll have 12. But I think that should be plenty, right? And let me breed these guys before I take them. Yes. And get my bottles. Uh oh. Boink. Boink. Hey, come back. <laughs> Come back here. No. Ah, gotcha. There we go. How many do we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Hopefully that will be that will be enough. Um put you away. And then beep pop back down there. Oh, go up, up, up. Um, I might have to put uh, extra teleporters in so I can. Uh... Let's get you guys out. You're free. Oh, I put my shrinking device up. I need it. I need it back. Boink. 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 <laughs> Boink. There you go, guys. Uh, now our drone should have tons of stuff to do. Ah. Oh, I forgot to breed them. There, he's picking everything up. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> this success. Um. Successful. I need that. I need four. Yeah. I need to breed four more sheep and then we'll have 12. Can I breed you yet? Are you guys ready? <laughs> what? There's two. Aha! Okay, now we have 12. This is it, right? Ah, uh, they have uh, wool, but they're tiny. Sweet! I'm going to take that wool. <laughs> I need it. Of course they go to the side with the least grass. Why would you want to do that? Oh, uh, but there is the sheep farm. Uh, I guess I could put uh, like a little charging pad up here and uh, I would need, um, let's just get it going. Um, I don't want an advanced liquid compressor. At Panu. At Panu. Actually, do I have a charging station on Autocraft? Ew. There we go. Uh, now, a charging station takes 10 bar, or actually can take 20, but the max that you can put into 
uh, the drone is 10. So I don't know. I don't know. Do I want to do the things? Uh, I'm. Isn't there like an advanced coal burner or something? Uh, there is an advanced air compressor, uh, but this does 20 bars. Isn't there like a, a middle road one? Just a, you know. Hmm. Dilemma. Now this, um, no, I thought there was a regular, I thought, I could have swore there was something that did tint. Oh, the thermal compressor. Hmm. So this one won't explode when the temperature gets too high. It just becomes really inefficient. I don't want, I just don't want to set up something complicated up here until I get the network up here. So maybe I'll just do a regular air compressor and the charging station. And I should have the regular air compressor. Yeah. This should at least, um, if he gets too low, he can at least, you know, charge up to five, which, which is better than nothing, I guess. Uh, <laughs> okay. I wonder if I need pipe for that. Will that, will that work? see a little bit of charcoal it is working okay um so let's make sure he doesn't explode we have a security upgrade get some speed upgrades boom and boom and we do the same thing for our little guy over there. Compressor. Whoa! <laughs> no! <laughs> Holy cow! Okay. Um, that was crazy. Now I wonder if he will see that. That's, that's bad. Do I have to tell him to go charge up or does he just automatically do that? I mean, I can't. Hmm. I don't know how to do the, the debug thing. Oh, is he going to get him? Get him. Aha. <laughs> That's so good. I can still get that little tiny bit of fuel in there and I'll put this over here in case he needs some. 
Um, boop, boop, boop. So that is really super cool and awesome. It wasn't the too hard to set up. You know what? I need another one. Ah. Dude, why won't you go on top? Watch out. <laughs> Get out of the way. I need to put a light. There, that's better. Wow, it just really does not like going on top of vents. There we go. Snazzy. Uh, it's not permanent, but it is uh, functional. <laughs> I'll probably uh, completely redo this area once I get stuff, uh, the, the network up here. Um, which we can do a lot better now. <laughs> That we have some wool coming in um another thing that i could possibly do is to just make this an ender chest uh, and i could probably change that let's do that real quick oh i think this is the the correct one already so I wonder if this is going to mess him up. <laughs> oh no, I can't do that. I forgot. He has to have shears. He has to have shears. And the shears would just get sucked into the chest and be lost. So I'll have to... Um, I'll have to take care of that once I get the system up here and he can just, uh, they can suck up the wool instead of uh, everything. So, um, I guess we could do a little bit. Oh, it's time. It's time. I don't have that time. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Well, I guess, I guess I'll have to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope you liked my new Coliseum. Let's go take another look at it. Uh, I do, I do want to get lights installed over there so that when it starts getting dark, uh, you can see it off in the distance. Kind of like the, the mage tower. Oh, it looks so amazing. Uh, also, when you're over here, you come out. Look at that. You can see, that's the first thing you see. It's this boom, wizard tower. Yes, <laughs> I like it. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.